comes the first snowflakes of the year. Last night we had some excitement. My friend Jeff was coming down the trail from our construction site over there, a new cabin. We got right here and <laughs> there was a great big brown bear standing right there. And so we ran over here. And I heard him banging a stick on the side of the building, broom handle. And the bear took off running. And right through here, <laughs> went right over there and stopped and turned and looked at us. Just before dark, I could see his eyes in the flashlight. And I've always wondered what a brown bear eyes look like in the flashlight. They glow golden yellow. And this morning we looked over here. This is the main trail for the boats. We noticed the bear left us a calling card. <laughs> we must have been going along the beach and came up through here. Exciting. See the snows starting to come. It's supposed to snow about an inch and then turn back to rain. See, yeah, exciting. Once was a great big bear, great big hairy old bear, grabbed by the hair, threw him in the air. Ain't no scary old bear nowhere. That's my song I sing for the bears. I shined my light back in the woods last night. I could see his eyes. Explosives. Yeah, here come the snowflakes. Look at that. The weather is truly faithful. Yeah, big bear. But fortunately, when they banged the stick, the bear did the right thing and took off running. We were glad of that. Size mountain. It's all untouched old growth. Sitka spruce, hemlock, it's a cedar. Real thick forest. I think the bigger deer live in on top of there. They like to come down here to this meadow. I suspect that deer are a part of the reason this meadow's here. This time of year, up their antlers on the trees. That one's fresh, but if you look, every single tree has been robbed at some point. I imagine that probably kills a lot of them. Keeps this thinned out, so more and more of the young ones keep sprouting. It's called a loblolly, maybe a shore pine, something like that. I forget what they call them down south. They grow tall and skinny in Idaho. Lodgepole? Can't remember. Yeah, it's pretty forbidding up in that forest. Mossy, dark, safe, quiet. The tree 
freeze hold the winter back. It stays fairly warm back up in there. That's where the deer spend in the cold part of the winter. But right now, it could be anywhere out in these meadows. So I'm going to work my way back down over there. End up back down there on the beach. Right there.